And good afternoon. War Point Three here, bringing another World of Warships news. This time here, we're covering the October Revolution Marathon. As you can see on the print right here, we have a mission coming up that's going to go going from the 10th, 410, I mean the 4th of this month until the 25th of this month. And it's going to be in three chains, as you can see on the screen. So stick around, look at the information, and we welcome you to the screen. folks as you can see on the graph that's in front of me um, the mission is going to start on 10-4 which is October 4th and it's going to be chain one is where it's the revolution second part of the mission is going to start on 10 sorry October 11th which is chain two and children of the revolution and the last part is going to be on 10-18 or October 18th which is chain three a revolution in my name now, chain one is broken down like this. Now, even though the chain says it goes from October 4th to the 25th, which it does, but we're talking about the opening date of the 4th. All right, so this is basically how it goes. The first part of the mission is broken down into the three parts inside of the first chain. And basically, as you can see on the screen, the conditions are basically just win a battle. You have to win a battle, survive, and deal 30,000 in damage. This is ones per account, and you get the flags um, Indian Delta, November Foxtrot, and Repair Party 2 times 2x. Okay, then the next condition is where the revolution is too. Again, you have to defeat the first condition first, and then it's just win a battle, and you have to destroy two ships. Now, this restriction is you have to do it in PvP or in ranked. Now, since there is no rank this season here, I'm not sure why they put that graphic inside of there because that does not apply. There is no rank for the rest of the year. And you get Indian Yankee, the Fox Strike Severin, and two damage, damage Control Party 2s. The last part of Chain 1 is Wiz Revolution 3. And you're going to accumulate 200,000 in damage, kill 20 planes, and this one you have to be in only specification is you have to be in tier 6 to a tier 10 and the rules, rules for that one is 10 type 5 camels once all of those are done then you get a final reward of main main battery mod 1 next up is chain 2 again three conditions as well starts on the 11th and this one is children of the revolution now, again, you have the prior conditions, you had to have the first three done, and now you can do this one here. It's over any five battles, shoot, on any number of battles, you have to win five times. And this is once per count, no other restrictions, and you get Flag Zulu, Equal Speed Charlie, and Repair Party 2. The next up is Chicken of the Revolution 2, and you have to be in the top three XP in your team. And again, the battle mode is going to be PvE. Rewards are going to be Hotel Zulu, Papa Papa, and Damage Control Party 2. Next up, Children of the Revolution 3. This one here is you have to destroy seven ships under any number of battles. And the only restriction is that you have to be in a tier 6 through 10 ship. This time here you get five type five, type five, excuse me, um, camels and 10 Indian Bravo flags. Oops. Sorry, the condition's not showing up correctly. And let me move this down. And in that final, once it's done, you get the aiming mod system one. All right. Now this is chain three. It starts on the 18th. Revolution is my name is what the battle missions are called. And these are the conditions. You have to finish, the, again, the prior two sets of missions. And now you have to get 1,600 base XP once per account and you get one slot and a repair party two. Okay, which is great. Next up is with name my resolution two. And this one here, you have to accumulate 500 battle ribbons. Again, in this mode has to be PVE. 
and you get four crew slots and two damage control party tools. And the last part of the mission is name my revolution is my name three. You have to win three times, and in those three wins, must be in the top five of your team. The other restriction is you have to be in a tier six through ten ship, and you get five type six flags. You can five type six camels. Once all those conditions done, meaning nine in total are done, then don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my videos to stay up to date with the latest happenings. The final reward is you get the October Revolution and a damage control system mod one. So basically you can get the ship for free and all the things that they feel that you're going to need to actually equip the ship so you can play it correctly. Now it doesn't come with a captain or anything else like that, but still giving away a tier five ship. I think that's very good at Wargaming considering all the things that's going on right now. So this is very much welcome. All right. Now, for those of you that are buying it in a premium shop, now that it comes available on, it's already been available since the 20, 29th of September. If you've bought in the premium shop, again, this is how it is in the premium shop now, which is $22.68. Of course, you get the ship in a Porsche lot. Then the next one up is the other packs that they have available to, to you. There's a special mission for those folks, though. To make it worth their while since they've already bought the mission okay which is makes it real easy they have to win a battle and this is repeatable so one time per day the modes can be co-op pve and you can only do it in an october re revolution and you get the rewards of a crate now that crate is going to have either 5,000 experience out of it one day of premium time or between 250 and 2,500 doubloons for basically a 21 day period. Now that's great because you can basically get, well, 21 days of premium time. Again, that would be excellent. Um, then you can get 21 days of, again, assuming if you got all of them exactly the same, 5,000 times 21 of free XP and your doubloons again maximum of 5 to 21 times 2,500 in doubloons now again you have any ratio in between there that you can get and everything else to that but still that's a nice reward for doubloons even though I probably figured they're going to give you premium time but still you can actually make your money back in doubloons ship wise or in free XP for that ship so for the they are compensating people that already bought the ship which is fabulous so this is warp on the three say warp out have fun catch you in the next one see ya